Hey, good morning guys, um, Andy Demi here. I hope you're well, hope you're having a great day. So today I wanna to speak about the common path of a trader, which is basically, you know, when you're kind of, you know, making progress away from being a newbie trader, you may kind of get to a point where maybe you're having a little bit of consistency and then in one swoop, giving all your money back. I've seen this countless times and it's very, very typical. You know, you have that kind of steady equity curve and then suddenly all in one very quick succession, you give that money back. Now, you might be thinking, well, why does that happen? Okay, if it's happened to you, you might be trying to overcome you know, that problem. And in my experience, I think there's a number of reasons why it happens, but I wanna share with you one or two things that hopefully can give you some um, tips on how to basically change that for the better. Now, one of the things that it could be is to do with your perception and your motivation and your vision. So that's a few things actually, but if I just kind of get into the specifics, you know, we all get into trading because we basically want to make a lot of money, okay? That's pretty normal, okay? If you wanted to just earn a normal salary, then you probably wouldn't be going into trading, okay? So if, if for example, trading had a cap of one and a half thousand a month, well, there would be a lot less people excited about trading. So we're all kind of going in there with the same motivation. But for most of us, you know, we don't have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds lying around for us to trade. So we start with a small account, okay? One or 2,000, maybe a few thousand, um, you know, depending on your circumstances. But mostly people are starting with a couple of grand. But what's happening is you're putting that money in, but you've still got that very same idea about making a lot of money. So, your idea is still there, but you don't really have a real attainable way of getting to that money with what you're doing today. So if you're looking at your £2,000 account in the context that it's just a £2,000 account, then you're not gonna be motivated to trade that professionally, you know, with correct risk management, with the correct procedure. And that's gonna have a real impact on your trading results because you need to basically do your trading as if it was a large account. And then ultimately, you can work toward attaining a larger account, okay? So there, is, there are many, many ways, and we can also help you. So if you're interested in getting funding, please feel free to contact us at the London Trading Institute, okay? You can even direct message me, send us an email, or just contact us on our website. Now, that's the first thing, okay? So to do with like your, your um, account size and your vision. The other thing um, that you really need to think about is your, your long-term idea, how, you know, and having a plan to attain it. So, you know, what kind of money do you wanna earn, okay? What kind of account size do you need to earn that kind of money? And then what are you gonna do with that money, okay? What are you gonna actually do with it? So if it's 10,000 a month, 20,000 a month, What's your life gonna look like? Have you built a vision board? Have you got that in your head? Because you need that, you need that motivation so that when you're trading this smaller account and you wanna follow rules where you're not really making a lot, but you're doing the disciplined way of trading, you will remember the vision and you will have the path. That's why it's really important that you sit down, spend time on this and say, right, okay, well, how am I gonna go from where I am today in the next two years to be where I wanna be. And what's that gonna look like when I get there? You know, what kind of place am I gonna go and visit? What kind of freedom am I gonna have? You know, what things am I gonna be able to do? You know, what things am I gonna be able to buy? And that's the very thing that can help you overcome those mental obstacles that occur. Because that's what's happening, by the way. If you're just risking and gambling away your money in trading, you're doing it because you're kind of not looking at the big picture. You're kind of just looking at the short-term picture. I need to make a quick buck, but actually it's costing you your freedom in the future. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share that with you. It's something that happens a lot with traders and you know it doesn't need to be that way, okay? So 
Have a great day, guys. Good training. See you again with another update. Take care. Bye-bye.